Hey, Portal Masters, check out what I got. Archean Crossbow Battle Pack. Sky on the Swap Force. Um, I wanted this pack so badly, and mainly because um, for Thornhorn Camo, because Camo was my second favorite Skylander from Spyro's Adventure, and I was sad that he um, was left out in Giants, but now he's back in Swap Force. Um, also, my... Um, my favorite character of all time in Spyro's Adventure was Warnado, and then I got like Court Warnado. I love Warnado. And and also in the set is the Core Grim Creeper. There's also a Light Core version of him and a Legendary version, which is also a Light Core. I've heard that doesn't light up very well, the Legendary Light Core Grim Creeper. And it comes with the magic item, Arcane Crossbow, and also it opens up a new battle arena, and Soul Survival, I think. Um, but the Soul Survival. Um, stage, it's a beach area. Look in this picture, like here. It's called Beach Beach. Like, why would this crossbow, like, be in a beach? That would be so awkward. But, um, yeah, like, I'm Toys, I got this at Toys R Us today, and, um, Toys R Us had all of Wave 3 except for the Core Smolder Dash, Hyper Beam, Prison Break, Horn Blast Whirlwind, and Phantom Cinder. But I saw Phantom Cinder at, and, and Horn Blast Whirlwind at Best Buy and Core Smolder Dash. Um, wait, I, also, I've seen every Wave 3 figure in person except for Hyper Beam Prison Break. I never saw him in stores. He's in, um, and, uh, and for all what I own for Wave 3, I own Sheepwreck Islands, this. I have Stink Bomb and Rubble Rouser. I don't care about Spy Rise. Um, here's the back. See, it's in the beach area. It says that the Fiery Forge is also available. It is. It's pretty common. Other Undead Skylanders, other Life Skylanders. Picture of Thornhorn Camo. Picture of Cora Grim Creeper. And it says that if you place the crossbow on the portal, you'll unlock the new arenas. And also the Archean crossbow figure lights up. So now, let's unbox this. Also, I have the Series 1 camo right next to me um, to compare it next to Thornhorn camo. And also the Wow Pal for Thornhorn camo. It's, um, it's called Explosive Harvest. Um, his melons or firecrackers from his vines could turn into melons, um, explosive super melons. Um, they're jack-o'-lanterns. They deal like a hundred, I think. And um, the Vine Veruso path is great for Thornhorn camos. Wow, pal! Like if you own the the series one camo, um, go for the Melon Master path, which is what I did. But for Thornhorn camo, I'm gonna go with the Vine Veruso path. Because you create two firecracker vines at once, and they will have more exploding firecrackers, and those will turn into um, super melons, and they'll go like all over the screen. It's crazy. Grim Creeper looked kind of cool too, um, but if this pa if this pack didn't include Thornhorn camo, I wouldn't have gotten it. But yeah, so let's unbox this thing. Hard to me unbox on camera. Oh, it came off very nicely. And also um, at Toys R Us, um, I was disappointed I didn't see these, but like on the shelf, it was right behind um, the triple pack with Mega Ram, Spyro, Blizzard Chill, and Zulu. And so like hanging, I saw this picture of Thornhorn Camo, then I just took it out, and then I just saw this pack. And I just, I just was so excited. I couldn't wait to buy it. Oh, yes, nice. Okay, I'll take out the best for last. Um, let's do the Archean crossbow piece. Ooh. Ugh. Pretty cool. What lights up is um, around here, around this blue part right here. Yeah, it would be really cool if, like, everything blue on this would light up. A lot of, like, core characters lights up blue. Grim, uh, right. Like Crow Grim Creeper, like Crow Ornado. The only character who like doesn't light up blue is Smolder Dash. Okay, 
Next, I'll take out Core Grim Creeper. I hope the car, the stickers won't show. Not the cards, the stickers. The cards. Whoa. Also, he's in the better pose in the light core. He's also a legendary version. Oh, yeah, I said that. Whoa, my first, this is my first time owning a Grim Creeper. Pretty cool. He feels really light. It's a scythe. Pretty cool. And it has an undead base, which, which like all undead characters like rolls in the dark. Pretty cool. Doesn't light up. It's core. Cool. Now, the one that I can't wait for. Thornhorn Camo. Ah, oh, well, he was easy to come out. Oh my god, look at him. Oh my god. Tail. Okay, and here he is right next to Series 1 Camo. Right here. Um, he still has red hands, he has the same face. Um, Thornhorn Camo has, um, bigger horns, and they're spiky. Thornhorn Camo is standing up. Looks like they, looking like daddies are all ready to attack. The back, um, on the Series 1 Camo, it has this yellow stuff on the back. But for Thornhorn, it's green. But I think they mainly focused on the pose. Also, by the way, um, Thornhorn Camo's pose is better than Series 1. They mainly focus on the horns and the pose. And also the tail, it's like over here on a Series 1 camo, it's like light green, and then it goes to dark green. This one, it's all the same exact color. But, yeah. Um, I like, I love Thornhorn camo. Now I'll take out the cards and stickers. I'm going to not do it on camera because I don't want to show the stickers. The only thing I use the stickers for is um, this guy on this collection vault app. But here is Thornhorn Camo's card and a sticker. Here's our key and crossbow, and that's in this sticker. And, I'm oh, sorry about that. And here's. Core Grim Creepers card and a sticker. So anyway, that's the Archean Crossbow Battle Pack. And also, um, um, every single battle pack in Giants and Spot Force, all except for the Scorpion Striker comes with a life Skylander. Um, the first one, the Dragonfire Cannon, that came with the core Shroom Boom. Um, Scorpion Striker had Zeus 2 Zap and Hot Dog No Life. Um, and the Fiery Forge had um, had Bumble Blast and this has Thornhorn Camo. And it's kind of weird that that three out of four of the battle packs have a, has a life character in it. But yeah, and also um, what if you use the um, Archean crossbow as a magic item, it like sh slowly it shoots up an arrow into the air, and then it just lands down. I think it deals like a forty. Yeah, like what the fiery forge does, it like makes circles of lava. That's kind of like what Eruptor does. But anyway, um, I hope you like this video. Bye.